Yo, good morning, everyone. Charlie checking in. Erica checking in. Right there. <laughs> Happy I don't Sunday know, to Sunday. everyone, y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is Sunday. It's WrestleMania Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's sun. It's a best Sunday in the world. My last free Sunday before I start work. Yeah, guys, start work tomorrow. Um, WrestleMania tonight. Laundry. Yeah. Laundry right now. Work later for me. New channel name. Yeah. The Outsiders. Outsiders. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that. Because we go outside, think outside the box. Yeah. And uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, what do we got going on today? Laundry. 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 Getting ready work, for tomorrow. Wrestling. Yeah. And uh, I'm just so happy. Sunday's awesome. Thank you all. Man, I love you all. And uh, let's go ahead and get this laundry going. Yeah. It's my grandpa's shirt. I got to wash this one inside out. This is the first time that I've ever washed it because I don't want it to start getting uh, messed up and stuff. Faded and or whatever. Whatever. It's got to be washed sometime, huh? I got to get me one. Start work tomorrow. I'll be able to. I'll be able to bobby one. Hopefully at the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Gone but not forgotten. So love you, Daddy. Never. We're watching some bloopers, doing some laundry. You gotta keep them separated. Da -na 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 -na. Check it out, man. An abandoned house in Shelby, North Carolina, man. Where is it? It's awesome. Where is it? <laughs> Shout out to Explore North Carolina. Yes. We have to get together and check some stuff out, man. This guy has found some really cool stuff, man. I won't tell you what, man. Go look at it. I will tell you, <coughs> uh, an abandoned uh, a juvenile detention center is like a... Uh, you saw it, right, man? It's like, uh, oh my God, it was like a uh, detention center with the light power still working yes. and stuff. That was amazing. That's, I gotta ask my people at work because that's like right around here. Yeah, that's we're, we're gonna, like close. We're gonna find this stuff, guy, man. Hit us up. Y'all check him out. No, it's loud. Gotta keep them separated. Da, na, 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 na. We're not really kids. All right, hold on. All right, good song though. Oh, yep. Yeah, Seatbelt on, baby. Seatbelt. Maybe watching. He will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, oh, we'll get some in the road. Stick. Sticks. The sticks. Anyways, headed to the laundromat. Gonna, everything everything yep. comes clean. Everything comes out in the wash. <laughs> so what uh what do we have? I brought. I'm, I'm trying to hold on to this while I reach for something. <laughs> we were kind of driving, and where's it at? My I book don't... is gone. There it is. Beyond birth and death. Look at that. It's just really cool. It's got the baby going up into a little child, standing up into a young boy, man. Adult and uh, old man, tired, dead. Uh, it's just cool. Yeah. So, do a little reading, a little washing, a little hanging out. Last day together. <laughs> During the day, anyway, you yeah. know. So, um, at least for a while. Yeah, we'll be starting our new schedules here soon. So, a little bit of rearranging, but a lot of, you know, just hope and thankfulness, you know. <laughs> Wow, it's packed out here today, guys. Yes. Luckily, there are a lot of machines in here. Oh so yeah. I think we're gonna be all Once right. we get in here, it really probably won't even look like there's a whole lot of people because it's like can. big. So. so. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. I don't know the rest of this melody. He's something in porous and spongy is he. I cannot think of it as much as I wish. <laughs> I hop on the deck and talk about the face. <laughs> no rugs. Mm. <laughs> oh. What? I just put a rug in there. Oh. So <sighs> Pretty good. Yeah. Did you awaken my consciousness? <laughs> Get awakened. Oh man. Ooh, awaken this, huh? <laughs> oh, God, I wish we had a Krispy Kreme here, guys. I want Krispy Kreme donuts so damn bad. <laughs> Can drive maybe like 30 minutes. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Can't wait for wrestling tonight, guys. Figured I'd go ahead and share share a couple wrestling stories with them. 
<laughs> I told y'all about Triple H uh, uh, calling me a, uh, calling me an idiot. Right? Told uh -huh. us, get out of the rain, you idiot. Yeah. And he was looking right at me. I was like, it wasn't even me. <laughs> oh, man. Early throwback days. I remember, uh, I remember, you know, like I said, Michael used to always, you know, record. He would sit there and record, you know, the wrestling while it was going on with the, on the radio with a tape deck. He record that sucker. Uh -huh. And because I'll oh, be quiet. Be quiet, man. He'd have to, and, the, and so he, he we'd all have to be quiet so he can record the the announcers, and then he'd write, he'd go back with his wrestling man and stuff like that, uh -huh. and create actual uh, matches. It was really cool, and really yeah. creative, you know. And uh, I remember, dang, yeah, like the first time I ever had wrestlers, you know. I mean, back when I was younger, they had these wrestlers, <laughs> and they wouldn't move, you know. they uh, just the arms were just straight, with straight plastic, you know, yeah. kind of hard rubber, is kind of deal. And I remember me and dad were there, and I was so young, I was like four years old. I remember like, we were sitting at the table and we're sitting there wrestling with our wrestlers and hitting them against each other. I guess I was a kid too. You know you know how kids get there, bam, bam, bam. I just started slamming it against dad. You yeah. know, my wrestler against dad's after dad's and told me to quit three or four times. Dad <laughs> takes a wrestler and jams it, and jams it in my cricket. Jeez. <laughs> oh God. I bet you stopped. <laughs> I swear to goodness, man, damn. <laughs> Every time I look at like the Macho Man or something uh -huh. like that, you know, with the or King Kong Bundy or whatever, I can't remember which one it was, but every time I see those big oversized rubber wrestlers, you know, I think about dad and me and mm -hmm. I mean he was just like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. damn right I did stop. <laughs> Your parents can't get away with that kind of crap these days, you know? Oh man, so funny. So, um, yeah, I mean, that was one story I want to tell you guys about. And then also, um, 2001, WrestleMania 2001. I was going to get what you guys had asked you, you know. I was going to ask Erica, you know, what's her favorite wrestling memory? Do you have a. You don't know anything about wrestling whatsoever? Um, you ever seen Hulk Hogan body slam Andre the Giant? No, I've seen Hulk Hogan's um, reality show. Hogan's reality <laughs> show. Hogan's no. Hogan knows best. I don't know anything. I remember. I What's had, Hogan's finishing how move? How about this? I remember I had friends um, back in like high school that used to watch it and stuff. So I watched it for maybe like a month. Or yeah. So. Like I, I watched enough to get into the storyline yeah. a little bit. And I remember that I liked um, <laughs> the Undertaker and Mankind. Undertaker and Mankind. Right. Okay, well, what's the Undertaker's finishing move? Uh, I, the Undertaker? Yeah, what does he do with the I don't know. Finisher? I just remember that you couldn't see his face, and he was all blocked out, and he was, like, big, and nobody really liked him, and they were, like, they were going We all love the him. Undertaker. He's Mr. WrestleMania. Yeah, well, this was probably, like, in... Undertaker versus John Cena tonight. Oh, my God. I'm going to say, like, 98. 98? Yes. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. That was good. Mankind was... That was back when his... Brown and she's got the mankind pants. I'm gonna have to sneak a picture of the mankind pants for you guys. <laughs> mankind with a nice booty. I was gonna say I'm wearing them right now, but I'm actually wearing a different color. So what was Hulk Hogan's finishing move? A Hulk Hogan? Yeah. I don't know. What would you if you had to take a guess, what would Hulk Hogan Hulk Hogan's finishing move Just be? Just standing there with his muscles or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He'd be like, be and then they'd fall down and he'd pan them. Oh, like you mean to like to yeah, like yeah, like the finishing oh. move, at like like boom, he does the, he does the big move in one, two, three. I, what would he do? I really don't. What know. could you imagine? Would he, would he punch him in the face? Would he? Would he, he would, would probably he, like kick him. He would run back and forth across the rings and then kick him. What? No. She has see. seen some of it. That is too much. Yeah. He'd throw him into the ropes and then he'd, he'd give him the big boot. Boom. Oh, see, I and then they fall down. And then he'd do a leg drop. Oh, yeah. He'd do a leg drop okay. on the net, and then boom, one, two, three. I didn't even know that they had, like, finishing moves. Yeah. I thought it was different every time. I thought that however they got them. No, they, they got, got, like, got signature them. moves, and they got finishers that do every time, like Stone Cold. Right. Remember, you know Stone Cold? What would Stone Cold do? The stunner? Remember, he hit him, and done. Guys, oh, my God. I never paid attention God. to the, to, I just... <laughs> I don't know. What is Stone Cold's name? Stone Cold? Oh, I know that. Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve yeah, Austin. Yeah, I know that one. Right, okay. Uh, let's hear. I know The Rock. I've watched some of his movies. Yeah, what's your... John Cena. 
his movies like I watched it and it's just too much like you can't freaking I mean I'm just for example you can't fall out of a helicopter that blew up and land on top of the mountain and then flip over like the marine I don't know they did. He did something really crazy with the Marine. There marine. Was one he like where jumped he was, off of. Uh, uh, he was like in it. Miami and he was in the swamp. Was that the Marine? He was in like the swamp and stuff. I can't remember. And yeah, it's just too much. It's just not too, a big Marine guy. Too many special effects <laughs> and unrealistic. Yeah. Like, That's kind of like what wrestling's got to be like. Oh, sorry guys. That's why I haven't even <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the story yet. <laughs> so I was just blown away, flabbergasted. So, okay. anyways, man, this goes that this goes back to 2001, WrestleMania 17, uh, 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 the night before JC was born, April 1st, 2001. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, man, it was so super big, man. We were getting ready for it, man. We had we had hot wings, like you know, every you know how WrestleMania is, you know, if you're in a wrestling family. Like she didn't even know, like she was like, is that like the big one? Is it a pay per view? And I was like, yeah, it's kind of like the biggest pay per view. <laughs> I didn't know that they had it's them like every the, it's, month. It's like either. the Super Bowl. For, it's like the Super Bowl for uh, for wrestling, right? You know. Okay. And yeah, so we we do all the Super Bowl stuff, you know. We get the chips and the dips and the uh -huh. and the chickens and pizzas and burgers, and we just go all the way out, you know. See, I didn't even know people like did that. Yeah. Really. Oh yeah. Click like if you do. You know you do. You know you're probably tearing some up right now watching the watching the uh, the match. And uh, so anyway, yeah, man, damn, Jennifer ended up going into labor. Yeah. Uh, while the 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 uh, uh. <laughs> while we're getting ready for WrestleMania, you know, she's going. She went into freaking labor, <laughs> and freaking damn, only one that really wanted to go was Dad, Mom. <laughs> like, I expected Dad to be like, oh, "I'm sitting here watching Dad wrestle." Nah, man, Dad was like, "I'm going in to be with my boy." <laughs> we'll be there when my boy gets here. I don't give a damn about to go there wrestling, you know? Right. And, uh, and I mean, but like, yeah, like Josh didn't want to go. He's up. <laughs> and me and Michael, we did not go. <laughs> Stayed home, man, and, we, and watched wrestling. And, and it was like the best, best WrestleMania ever. We were calling up, giving them damn, you know, details of what were going on. And they were letting us know about Jen and stuff. <laughs> and she ended up laying there for like, like 12 hours for she ended up giving her. <laughs> birth or something like that yeah but um does jc like wrestling now and he loves wrestling he yeah he understands then he yeah, yeah, yeah yeah he yeah he understands yeah he un he'd yeah. do the same thing huh? probably he'd probably do the same thing right now <laughs> yeah so and it was one of the best wrestlemania it was one of the craziest you know stone cold actually joined vince mcmahon Mm -hmm. And blew everybody's mind. Blew my mind. I think it had the best entrance of out, uh, out of all the WrestleManias. And uh, and uh, uh, yeah, can't wait for tonight. There's one more story I wanted to tell you, share with you guys. I seen the other day that damn, uh, you know, Jennifer had a little had a little prank pulled on her while she was getting her tickets. Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, and and I thought I thought it was funny. You know, she had uh, Jimmy with her. And uh, mm -hmm. this time, man, uh, I went with JC. It wasn't a prank, man. This is for real. It was sad, actually. <laughs> uh, I can't remember wow. which. I, it was. It was a Monday Night Raw, and I was supposed. I took JC. But I was supposed to get the tickets at the Will Call stand, and the tickets never showed up. Then Michael, he went. He went to some concert. You had know, some friends that were doing a concert, so he was out there doing that thing. And I kept calling, trying to figure out where these tickets were. They never came in, man. We ended up having to go home, mm -hmm. miss out on the show. Come to find out, it was the night that dang Paul Heyman got upset and quit WWE. Yeah, and I, we, I, we didn't get the tickets. Paul Heyman is like a real... Since you don't even know Paul... <laughs> I know who Paul Heyman is only because... I guess it's through Mike yeah. or whatever, yeah, so... But I don't, was, I don't know anything Yeah, kind about. of a big deal in wrestling right. and stuff like that. And he was getting the tickets and, and, and what have you. Yeah. And... Uh, he quit that night. It was it was such a coincidence, you know, that that night didn't get the tickets. That's that's why. Yeah. Paul Heyman quit. So damn. Uh -uh. Yeah. Didn't get to go to that. But uh, it was for an interesting reason, you know. Paul Heyman quit. I knew where I knew where I was and what happened, you know, when mm. Paul Heyman quit. So that's it, guys. We're gonna go in here and check these clothes, man. They're about yeah, they ready. Yeah, might be probably about ready. Yeah, yeah. And uh, turn around. Five piece nuggets or chicken sandwich? Mmm. I'm not sure. We're going to Wendy's. Ah! Oh, check this guy guy out, boy. Get yeah. down. Woo! Yeah! Ball, chicka, ball, chicka, ball. I gotta tell you guys. Sonas come over. <laughs> He's like, come on over to here. Should I got we go you guys. To Sonic? <laughs> he wants us to go to Sonic. I remember every laundry day I would go. You've never been to Sonic, have you? 
Oh my goodness, it might be a little too expensive. We're we're trying to eat on the cheap today. Maybe when, maybe when we got a little more money, we'll eat a Sonic. Our brother, if you got a dollar menu, we'll come back and see you. But every large day when I got when I got my own place in Columbia, mm -hmm. I didn't have a, a, a washer and dryer. And uh, every Sunday, I would go wash my clothes and I would get me a, a Sonic foot long, which are amazing, by the way. Y'all need to go check out Sonic. Woo! Yeah. But we're gonna eat at Wendy's today. Yeah, we were talking about Wendy's yesterday. So, so, oh my god. Hi, you have me right, Wendy. Thank you very much. All right. Here we okay. go, guys. Why don't you go ahead and tell them what we got here? This looks delicious. We went to Wendy's and there was like a four for four dollar thing. Four so for four let's meal. See what all you get for four dollars? Here's the drink. Yeah, the First drink off, surprisingly. looks good. Look, these fries. Oh, and they're like really hot and fresh Ooh. too, and that's like mm. fresh to death. Yeah. Mm. Yum. Wendy's always has the freshest to me. And so I got my fries. Nice size fry. Five piece nuggets. Five piece nugget. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a four piece nugget. Got oh, me. it is four. Okay, so four piece nugget. Whatever. That's cool. And junior bacon cheeseburger. Junior bacon cheeseburger. And junior bacon cheeseburger. Junior bacon cheeseburger. And that's it. We got our sauces got in here. Complimentary dipping sauces. Mmm. And. Mmm. Got and you. our drinks. Barbecue for okay. me. Honey mustard for the lady. So that is like a lot of food. That is a lot of food. For, for both food. of this, it was eight dollars. Eight dollars and some change. Yeah. So, so that is great. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm oh. gonna be stuffed. Oh, Aww. just lost a nugget. Oh, it's fire scoopers. You piece. better keep your hands on your side. <laughs> I like honey mustard. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's all right. At my work. Mm-hmm. I need to bring you some because it's really good. Hey, they changed theirs. They used to not look like this. What the uh, the nuggets? They're still good. I love um. Mmm. Almost feels like a cheaper nugget. No, but I love this sauce, and it's kind of like McDonald's. Um, what is it? The hot mustard. The Maybe hot mustard sauce. I don't think I've ever had any McDonald's hot what? mustard. What? That's my favorite. And right, what's this other dipping sauce they got at McDonald's? The uh, the um, Malaysian, or not? That's, that's Chick Fil A. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, this is They brought back a, a a certain dipping sauce. I don't remember what that is. I gotta look it up. I heard it was the best. Mm -hmm. If y'all know what I'm talking about, let me know. Is that the Rick and Morty thing? Mm mm. Mm. So fresh. Yeah, delicious. Speaking of hot, if you hadn't followed us on Facebook or Twitter yet, I have officially challenged this one to a Carolina Reaper challenge. <laughs> and she is, I think she's accepted. We're still working on it. <laughs> but uh, she's like, she's, she's, she keeps talking about she can hang with hot stuff and this, that, and et cetera. No, I know that that ain't no joke. Like, I know... So, I mean, I eat spicy food, but that's just different. So my brain exactly tells what, me no, but at the same time, it's like, it's not going to kill me. It'll go away in 10 minutes. I'm kind of competitive. I'm a tough girl. Right, and it's, and it's life-changing. What do you mean it's life-changing? It's, it's <laughs> yeah, so then whenever we started talking about it, he's like, so... Um, I gotta find one. We gotta get one of the fresh ones because the fresher ones are hotter. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. really? I'm like, so if I say I'm gonna do the hottest pepper in the world, then you're gonna try to find the hottest, the hottest, the hottest like, of like, the hot, the juiciest uh -huh. ones mm. with the biggest seeds in it. Go big or go home. Jeez. So, let us know if you guys want to see that hot pepper challenge. I already know. I already know what they're gonna say. <laughs> are you gonna <laughs> deny them? Hush up. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll see you. Okay, guys, I want to show you. These are the famous 
mankind pants. Put them, hold them up, baby. Let me see these. Show them. Show them the man. Show them the man. Look at her mankind pants. I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a good shot with you with her wearing those. Mankind's got a nice booty. Wow, look how pretty it is out here, guys. It's amazing. This is our North Carolina. Yep, this is the hood. <laughs> our neighborhood. How about I say? With the cows. With the cows, boy, <laughs> man, man, you know where the hood. You know we're in the hood. We see cows. <laughs> we got cows. Look, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. On a clear day, you can see forever. And they're building all this junk over here. But apparently, Shelby is where they host the Little League World Series, right? Yeah. Every year, a couple years ago, Taylor Swift was here. Yep. Hopefully, we can see Taylor Swift again. It was for free. I can't wait to Taylor Swift. <laughs> In our hood, there's one of my homies right here. What's up, buddy? That's Mama Goat. Mommy goat. Come here, mommy, mommy, mommy. Nah. Nah. Okay, baby. All right, so speaking about wrestling memories and audio tapes, tape cassettes and stuff like that, I don't know a couple of you guys have already noticed this, man, but I just really kind of noticed yesterday that it trips me out. Our freaking tape cassette radio that we've got here in the damn trailer, baby. <laughs> that is so cool. It's not working. I can't, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's not playing anything. I'm going to see if I can't get this thing to work. Get us a couple of old damn cassette tapes, man. Some Dr. Dre, nothing but a Jeep thing. Something really, something, some nostalgia. I remember one time, man, this was a really, this is a crux for my, for my musical, uh, my musical preference, man. Damn, I went and I got damn, um, I got Coolio Gangster's Paradise, uh -huh. and damn, it popped. I threw it away. Dad taught told, taught me into going to get it out the trash. I took it back. It was still wet. Took it back to Walmart and traded it in for hmm. for Green Day, and I never looked back. <laughs> you never so, looked back. Yeah. So speaking of Green Day, I think this is it, huh? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and leave it here for you guys. Hopefully, y'all enjoy the vlog today. Mm -hmm. Um. I would say I would say last day we're gonna be able to go out and kind of do stuff, but we didn't really do nothing today, did we? No. And we still had fun and enjoyed what we had. Yeah. And uh, you know I'll, where I'm working at, I'll be able to get off early enough. We'll still be able to vlog and do stuff. Right. He gets off at like between two and three in the afternoon, so we can yeah, still go in early enough. That's about what time we get, get up and go do her stuff anyway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> about the normal time that the coffee gets this one up. So. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave it here, man. Thank you all for watching. Yep. Baby girl's going to go to work. I'm going to sit back and eat some calabash chicken and, and watch wrestling. WrestleMania. <laughs> Any of y'all guys, y'all are near, you want to come watch with me? Check it out, man. Um, thank you all for watching. Yep, good night. Talk to y'all tomorrow. <laughs>